In this video from accounting101.org, we're going to go over how to use the VLOOKUP function uh, and actually how to use, how to nest it within another VLOOKUP. And what that lets you do is uh, go through multiple tables of data to pull out one value. So in this example, we have our employees right here and their position and each position is within a certain department. It's within one of three departments, either the lower, middle, or the upper department in this company. And what we want the VLOOKUP to do is, based on the number of years that they've been employed, we want, we want it to pull out the hourly rate. And so the way that we do this, you know, really you could, uh, you could use the... First of all, when you use a VLOOKUP, just to show you real quick, the first, the first value is your lookup value. So essentially what we're going to do when you nest VLOOKUPs within other VLOOKUPs, um, your, your first VLOOKUP, the full function, will end up being the lookup value within the nested VLOOKUP. So if that doesn't make sense the way I just said it, just keep watching because uh, we'll just walk through how this works. So the first thing that we're going to do is we'll start with the position because the first thing that we need to do is identify uh, when we know their position, we need the VLOOKUP to pull what department they're from to go on and then pull out the hourly rate because down here we have the department, but this table alone you know, doesn't give us... Uh, the information as far as what positions are within that department and then the corresponding hourly rate. So the first thing that we need to do is just the lookup value to begin with. We're going to look up the position right here. So we click on this cell. We hit comma, then we need the table array. Since we're looking up the position, we're going to be referencing this table right here. So we're just going to highlight the uh, this range and remember that we need to make this an absolute reference. So we make that absolute. We hit the comma again. So the column index number means out of our range of applicable data or the table that we're referencing, which column do we want this to return? And so of course we want to choose column two. So we're going to type a two. And then the range lookup, since we're working with text, we do want an exact match. So we're going to choose false. We could either use false or zero. It doesn't, both the same thing. So if we hit enter, uh, we're going to see that we have the lower, you know, a janitor is in the lower department. And that's correct. So we could pull this down. This isn't how we want to finish this, but just to see that it is working, a cook is in the lower department so that's correct an executive is in the upper department so that's correct uh, a board member is in the upper department so that's correct so we'll ju we're just going to go ahead and clear this clear this contents i just wanted to show you that at least that part of the function is working so back to what i said earlier what we're going to do now is the first thing you need in a vlookup is the actual lookup value so because we want to come down here ultimately and pull out the hourly weight, hourly rate, we're going to make this full function our lookup value for our, our main VLOOKUP. So we're just going to go here, put the cursor at the first of the formula, and type in VLOOKUP again. And come to the very end of this, and we hit comma. So before I hit that, you can see that with now within this first VLOOKUP, anywhere that my cursor is in this first, uh, well, not within that because then it switches to the second VLOOKUP. If my cursor is within here, it's showing me that I'm working with my first lookup value, which is correct. That's what we're that's what we're doing here. So we hit comma. We move on to the table array. Now this time, this is our table array right here. Okay, but we need a Again, we need to come back and make this reference absolute. So we're going to do that. Then we hit comma again. The next we need our column index number. So what is our column index number? Well, that's 
this is given to us in the years employed right here. So we click on this, but you need to make sure and think through this on your own because if we hit year number three, this is asking us the column index number. It's not coded in so that it recognizes a three. It's just counting the columns of the range that we've highlighted. So if we say three, you, we can see that three is actually the fourth column. One, two, three, four. So all we need to do is click this, but within that same, uh, within this same spot, we need to add one, plus one. So it's gonna be this cell plus one. Whatever number is in this cell, we add a one to that, and that will give us the correct column. So close that reference, oh, whoops, with a comma. Um, but th down here, um, this is a number, we don't, we don't need an exact match, but it doesn't hurt either. So if we just enter false, and then we're all done. So let's see if this works. So that's a seven. So if we pull this down, we will see that these are all the right hourly wages. Tom Cruise is a janitor, so that's in the lower department. Uh, he's worked for five years, so if we come to the lower five years, he gets $11 an hour. And if you go through, you'll see that these are all correct. So that's how you use a nested VLOOKUP.